In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a St. Patrick's Day contest giveaway or sweepstakes. And I'll run you through an example of how to do that. We're going to be using RafflePress, which is a WordPress plugin and also known as the best WordPress giveaway plugin. So you can head over to rafflepress.com or click the link in the description below. And if you prefer, when you get to the website, we can scroll all the way to the bottom and you can go to the blog and you can find the article for this. There's a seven St. Patrick's Day giveaway ideas plus an easy tutorial. So if you prefer the written article, Stacy has written a great article here with some tips and advice on how to go ahead and do this as well. In this video, I'm going to be using the pro version. So you can go ahead and click on get raffle press, select the account that makes the most sense for you. And once you have an account, let's click on login on the left hand side. You can enter your email address, your password and click login. Next, let's click on the second tab from the left here called downloads. And we'll go ahead and click on download raffle press. We also need the license key here in the bottom left hand corner. You can click this icon here to copy that to clipboard. And we can go ahead and close this tab for now. Here I have a clean installation of WordPress and let's go ahead to install RafflePress. We'll go to plugins and click on add new. At the top, let's click on upload plugin. Next, let's go ahead and click on choose file and you can select that zip file that we just downloaded for RafflePress. If you're using the same or similar browser as I am, you can click on this in the bottom tab and you can drag and drop that right here and we can click on install now. Next, let's go ahead and activate the plugin and I'll paste that license key right here. We'll click on verify key. And you should see a green success message in the top right corner. I'm going to go ahead and close this tab at the bottom. Next, let's go ahead and create a new giveaway here. So on the left hand side, we have raffle press now and we can see giveaways. Let's click on add new and we want to give our giveaway a name. Next, we want to select a template. You can just use the classic template if you like here, which has nothing added for the actions. If you have a specific goal in mind, you can read the other listings here for the templates, such as growing your Instagram or the TikTok. But let's just go ahead with the classic giveaway for now. I'll go ahead and click on use this template on the right hand side here. We can see what it looks like and we can modify some of these options here on the left hand side. We have the three different stages, the template that we just selected already, the setup stage, which is what we are on right now. And then the publish stage here at the end under the setup that we're on right now, we have details, actions, design and settings. We'll start with the details here. We have the prize. So we here we can name the contest itself that people will actually see. So for mine, I'll call this one as an example, St. Patrick's Day bakery giveaway. You can modify that to your small business or whatever your giveaway or contest is about. And here you can modify the description. Once you have your name and your description, you can go ahead and add an image as well. Highly recommend an image to make your contest stick out and to be more appealing for people. If you need help with an image or you don't have one, you can head over to unsplash.com and you can use the pictures here. There's other services like this as well that offer free photos that you can use. Go ahead and browse through and select a picture that makes the most sense for your situation. Here we have a cake. I'll just go ahead and download this one. Next, I'm going to go ahead and select the image right here. I'll click the button and inside your media library, you'll go ahead and upload that photo. You'll select that and we can go ahead and choose this image. Great. Now we can click on done editing and here we can see a preview of what the contest will look like on the left hand side under details. We also have the start and end times So you can select your date here and the finish date. And of course, the time when you want it to start and end. You also have the time zone here as well. So whichever time zone you want to select. Once you're happy with everything, let's go to the next step, which is the actions tab here on the left hand side. Now these are the different ways that somebody can enter your giveaway or contest. You should focus these on what your goal is. For example, if you want to grow your TikTok channel, we can add the TikTok option here. Now we can see that added to the bottom. By default, we have the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We can remove these if we don't want these. So maybe we just want to have the TikTok and maybe a different option as well. We can click on this option here and it'll open on the left hand side. We can change the title, the value, make mandatory, allow daily entries and your TikTok URL. To add another action, we can just simply click on actions again. That'll bring us back here and we can add another one here. For example, let's go ahead and join an email newsletter. So now we are growing our TikTok and we are growing our email newsletter. And you can see that they're both assigned one point. Now let's say that TikTok is more important to us. We can click here and give it a value of two. This means that if they enter the TikTok, they'll get two entries. Uh, and if they do the email newsletter, they'll only get one. For the newsletter options, you can see there's unique options here, such as an integration with your favorite third-party email marketing service. So for example, if you like to use Constant Contact or ConvertKit, et cetera, you can select that and you can connect it with your API key. Now that third party will manage all the entries for your email newsletter. Once you're happy, let's go to the next stage, which is design. And here we can change the layout right now. We have header text image. We can change that to image header text. We can change the font if needed. You can select a different one here as well as the button color. So right now it is green for the user email. You can change this to something else if you wish. Those are the page background. You can also add a page background image if you like. I'll just use the color for now. 
And again, we'll use maybe a green color here. At the bottom, you can add some custom CSS if you like. And lastly, here we have the settings section here. Here we have the general settings. We have the giveaway name, the page permalink. So with RafflePress, you can include this contest on any post or page on your WordPress website, but you can also have its own dedicated page created automatically for you. And you can do that simply by adding a name here. I'll call this St. Pat's. And you can preview that here by clicking view. For the display options, you can hide the total entries, show winners, limit signups. You can show the raffle press link if you'd like to support the plugin. And you can join the affiliate program. Under giveaway rules, we have a rules generator template here, which you can click and put your information in. This will automatically fill out your rules here. Please make sure to follow all your local laws regarding giveaways as well. We have an email verification section here. So this is to confirm their email address when they sign up. There's different options for that. We highly recommend using WP Mail SMTP by WP Forms. It's the best way to ensure emails sent from WordPress get delivered. Under the success tracking here, you can add unload scripts and conversion scripts. For success redirect, you can turn this on. So when they enter your contest, after they're finished, you can redirect them to another URL if you like. We also have social logins. If you'd like to use the Facebook login option, you'll have to create your own app on Facebook. There's a link here to show you how to do that. And you can place your Facebook app ID right here. Here we have the GDPR. So this is the consent. If you require this, you can turn this on and add your consent terms in here. We also have the reCAPTCHA, so you can enable invisible reCAPTCHA. You'll need a site key and secret key. Again, there's a link here to learn how to do that. And lastly, for advanced users, we have webhooks, which you can turn on. You can add a new webhook or modify the first one here with a request URL, the request format, and your headers. Once you're happy with everything, let's go ahead and save this. And we'll go to the last step at the top for publish. Here we can see the publish options for our St. Patrick's Day giveaway. We have the method of using the RafflePress WordPress block, the WordPress shortcode, or the giveaway landing page. These are both similar for the block and the shortcode. You simply use the block by searching for it in the block editor. And again, you can add this to any post or page. The same thing for the shortcode. You just simply use the shortcode block in any post and page. Uh, but for this technique, you need to copy this little shortcode here and paste that into the block. And lastly, the giveaway landing page. Again, let's just make sure everything's saved and we can view the page here. So this is the dedicated page and you're actually already in set to go. You can just take this URL and share it all over your social media and with your followers. And here we can see the entries, total entries, days left, the photo that we added, the title, the description, how to log in, and then the entries or actions for them to get points for this contest. Once your contest ends and you have a bunch of entries, RafflePress will also help you choose a random winner based on different conditions in the settings. Thank you so much for watching this. Please subscribe to the channel and please check out these videos if you're curious about RafflePress and how it can help your small business improve and go viral. Again, thank you for choosing RafflePress and I'll see you in the next video.